And now it's time for Southern California Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Mexa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher, by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock God Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup right here next to Fisherman's Landing. A very busy Fisherman's yeah. Landing this morning in San Diego. And we have a great show lined up for today. Alec Robbie, Captain Alec Robbie from Bite Sport Fishing is here. We're going to have a great show talking some fishing here. You start. Stay tuned to Southern California Sport Fishing Voices. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090. I can't wait to spend some quality time with my son fishing this year, teaching him about casting, how to choose bait, set the hook, and how to be safe on the water by always wearing a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. San Diego. Do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So, bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than fifty dollars of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain! Plus, use it a special code to save twenty dollars on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Cook-Off. What a great show today is going to be, man. How'd you pull off getting out? Getting yeah, <laughs> well, you know, Brandon's on vacation and uh, the other guys, uh, you know, but we got we got the main man here, yeah. Captain Alec Robbie. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Great, great to have you. And uh, you're back with Bite for Sport Fishing. Last time you were uh, you were working for somebody different. Yeah, and you today a different you're, hat last year. Yeah, different <laughs> hat last year. And today you're back with Bite Sport Fishing where you started the whole thing, right? Exactly. I've always been a part of the... Uh, I've always, I've always been a part of, uh, I've always been a part of Brandon's charter service. Whatever you'd like to call it, one man charters bite sport fishing for, uh, for a while, a couple of years on and off, and this year kind of going in a little more since I have the opportunity. Yeah, yeah no doubt about it. Well, uh, so, so where you been fishing? What have you been doing? Catching fish, fish, right? Oh yes, and I mean, as everyone kind of knows, these bluefin are so. They're everywhere, but nowhere. They're from, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're from Mexico to Catalina, even further north. But we even we do trips out of Long Beach. We do trips out of Oceanside. You know, even down here, Fisherman's Landing, and it always seems to be uh, a fairly easy run from anywhere to to get on some fish. And you know, it was uh, kind of by Catalina earlier this week, and um, 
yesterday we had a tough trip. We got one. It was a single 60-pound fish. Uh, nice. We'll Can you get see, one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, getting one. But we'll see We'll see if we can't locate some more foam. That seems to be the, the key to a, a nice, well-rounded trip is find that violent foam and that's where that's where they bite. It's been quite the show these last couple of weeks. I mean, just right on the beat. I mean, last a couple months, really. But I mean, just it's crazy the Panama style, just giant whitewater foamers that are within a couple miles of the beach. It's it's like wild up and down the coast, on. right? Holy. Yeah, it could be anywhere. It, it could be everywhere and nowhere. It's like yeah, you, no, it's, you punch in some you punch in some numbers on your plotter. You start going. You better be looking out the window because. Three times this week, I was ready to go at least thirty to forty miles, right. and you got stopped short, and we we, we got it. We, it was much better, and that was, you know, two miles outside a harbor or ten miles. You know what I mean? Just so like unexpectedly close, and that fish is not getting hounded as much. And I mean, obviously, yeah. by the end of the day, you, it'll be something on it. But Got to keep you keep your eyes open because yeah. there'll be stuff in your travels. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, no question. So, bite sport fishing has quite the fleet now, right? <laughs> oh yes, the armada, the, the the small boat small boat armada. And <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's funny because I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty stoked this year to be doing this because all the years on a big boat, I'm used to oh, oh. bluefin fishing, sneaking up on foamers and a some with two giant diesel engines, a generator, <laughs> refrigeration compressors, some guy, you know, blasting a DVD in the galley, whatever, you know. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a couple of these to bite. And now this year, we, you know, just quiet little outboards in the Parker and the Freeman just idling up. And, Slide on in. You know, I'm like, these are our best chances, so I'm pumped to try to make it happen. But, yeah, it's quite a fleet. There's two Parker 28s. There's Freeman we got this year. Freeman Catamaran. Big Freeman 32, right? Yes. It's funny you say big because it is the smallest and it is huge. Like, <laughs> for, for our standards, like I saw a picture, I'm like, wow, that, that's not like the ones I see, you know, in the pictures of Florida and this and that. And then I get up to it and I'm like, this thing is rad. It's yeah. big. It's got like your knees don't hit the rail. It's like your thighs hit the rail. So it's very, the rails are high and safe. The, the flare of the bow goes up. It just eats up the waves. It's so much storage that I'm not used to putting stuff on the deck. You don't put anything on the deck. Really? There. Yeah. It's there's some there's space for everything. Fish, you know, bait. drinks, bait, helium tanks. That's like, pretty it, cool. It is crazy. It's really cool. So, so two twenty eight, the twenty three, and that Freeman catamaran. Yeah, yes. and the, and 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 all uh, venture out to wherever the fish are. Right. That's always been the play. That Brandon has instilled since day one when he had his first Parker, or even before that when he had his Arima. But when I became involved, it was that the first Parker. You were with One Man Charters back in the day. OMC baby. Yeah, you were like one of the original guys that uh, that were the, became two man charter, right? Yeah, exactly. I kind of when I became involved, it kind of messed up that name, but it kind of was. Uh, Gave us the ability to both kill ourselves staying up all night for sea bass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, th that was the cutting edge. But from uh, yeah, from from then till now, it's uh, it's changed a lot. And it's all, like we were saying, it's always been the motto to do what it takes, go where you need to go to get the fish. And yeah. you know, we don't want the excuse like, oh, they're they're way out of our range. Let's just go, you know, run a trip to just take money no we'll, we'll, get, we'll put the people on the fish give them their best shot at it you know I, i've always thought that was so cool about the bite operation is I, i've had however many customers and buddies like go, you know going fishing this weekend like no we you know we, we canceled what do you mean you canceled well the weather was fine but, but this was a sea bass trip and the fish weren't here and they're up coast so we you know 100 percent no issue we rescheduled to this date because we're gonna have a better shot of fishing or, or whatever the scenario was you know like hey we were originally on a trip out of mission bay but it turns out we're all driving up to oxnard because there's limits of fishing up there instead of down here and it's just you know the it's never been a money grab first it's always been a put people on fish first kind of thing right and it's it's incredible when you just stick with stick with your morals like that and you know, no one gets heartbroken. Totally. I, I've had, there's been people that are like, oh, I booked a hotel here and I had to drive there. I'm like, well, you got two choices here. You could have <laughs> either driven, um, you know, an hour in your vehicle or gotten the, excuse me. We all know it. Get it kicked out of you. Getting it kicked out of you going uphill 
two to three times as long. Totally. Or we can make this an hour and a hour long yeah. trip to the yeah. grounds. I'm like, it's a no-brainer. I'd rather do it. Everyone would rather do it. I'd rather <laughs> go down and pick the people up if they didn't want my truck and drive them. You know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, yeah, and then they think about that. They're like, you know what? You're right. I, this, this is much more effective. Yeah. Like, yes. And so, so, so Brandon and you station boats. You have San Diego. You have Oceanside. You have uh, Newport. You have uh, San Pedro. Um, uh, 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 even up to Ventura, right? Yes, exactly. There's, um, I mean, the main ones right now, it always shuffles between the, you know, the landings and this, that, and whatever. But, you know, there's one Fisherman's, uh, the classic spot in Oceanside, which that's where, like, he was originally kind of based out of. And then uh, at times we were going out of Channel Islands this year and running out of there and, you know, that's a that's a big logistical play on Brandon's part to kind of coordinate all that and get it all square, you know. And yes, there's been times when it's Newport, and you know what I mean. But that's yeah. more so Dana Point, everything, lobster time, white sea bass time, that kind of thing. More so in Newport in that area, right? No, uh, that, that this year is like Long Beach, which is Long even Beach, better, even closer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you just skate. That, you know, especially if the weather is kind of iffy, just go behind that wall and then just cut cut out through the. Long Beach Light right to the West End. Oof. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely. So you like doing all these different destinations? Is it kind of fun to just try in different space places? Yeah. It's like, I mean, I mean, I came from a long-range boat, so those des- it's not nearly as many destinations in that aspect, but as far as California fishing, it is. It's You fish Channel Islands. You fish Clement. You fish... San Diego, you fish offshore, you fish, yeah, it's just such a big variety, and, you know, it, it's a, quite the shuffle sometimes, but you, you yeah. got to do it, but you do to get yeah. fish. Yeah, and, and that's well, that way you can fish year-round here, which is just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, he was fishing year-round before this bluefin became year-round, too, you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. right? totally. he, he figured out that shuffle and built around that, and it was it was really cool. It was like, you know, whenever I'd be off of I'd have a trip off on the rooster. He'd be like, hey, you want to run some lobster trip? Sure. Oh, hey, we got uh, some, there's yellowfin around. You want to go take the 23 out with a couple people? Yeah. So I've been kind of steady always doing that. Yeah. And, uh, he's dabbling. Yeah, always he's dabbling. And I don't really recall a time of the year where he's like, there's nothing. Yeah, I got you nothing know? going on. Yeah, let's, let's, I mean, of course, weather hinders it. But, like, if there's decent weather, there's always an opportunity to, you know, either – Fish offshore, fish for lobster, you know, a little, little sea bass trip, you know, checking out the island. And, I mean, that that uh, this year it equated to quite a few sea bass just, you know, tri- you know, probing around, which is yeah. pretty neat, you know. And it was kind of quiet this year. I mean, it wasn't like wide open sea bass season, but you guys got them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 In, 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 very, in various places. Exactly. That, that Catalina, it was... It was, it was exactly that. It wasn't wide open ever, but it was kind of consistent because we were persistent. Yeah. You kind of mentioned it a little bit, but, you know, obviously you, you've had major stents on multiple different long-range boats. What's been, like, some of the biggest differences, like you said, you know, fishing with 30 guys and an unlimited bait capacity and unlimited time versus being stealthy and four guys but smaller bait? You know, what have been what have been some of the... I don't know, challenges or differences from being behind the wheel of a big rig and being behind the wheel of a rocket ship. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, a couple of things that kind of come to my mind off the bat is like, man, I, you know, food and accommodations are just like, like not up to par on these little boats. But I'm like, we're getting there fast yeah. and we're <laughs> getting on them. So I guess, you know, after just kind of getting wrapping my mind around the, the differences, um, some of the, the, as far as fishing goes, it's... You get there fast, obviously. You, you on the park are with bite sport fishing. You're you're running something that's basically two quiet outboards putting through the water. Mm-hmm. At, when you're ro- rolling up on these bluefin, those two two or one quiet outboard is so much more user friendly than rolling up with two giant diesel engines, a generator, some compressors and all sorts of stuff going on you know and so it definitely they think the noise puts them down a lot with, with with bluefin for sure yeah with bluefin for sure yeah but you know at, at the same time you're like oh the bait capacity you know you just can't compare but mm-hmm. with, with these bluefin sometimes sometimes it's not about bait sometimes right. it's about getting the perfect cast with that popper you know yeah. what i mean and as far as you know limited you know the loads and whatever it's like you're just consolidating time 
are like, you know, all these time allotments into one trip to just go for it, you know, yeah. get there quick, get going big or going home. And that's just what a lot of the trips are with bite is, you know, a quality fish in a consolidated amount of time, you know, for the people who have the, t the money, but not the time, this is where it comes in stride and you're, you're kind of roughing it for a day just because it's faster rocket ship kind of getting pounded a little bit, but it's, uh, the result is a, a nice catch. You wouldn't have had otherwise. Right. The results speak for themselves. I mean, yeah. the, the, the amount of quality that all of, you know, your, yourself and all of your, you know, your colleagues and bites work fishing for it. just, it blows me away. The consistency of providing, I mean, for real, you call it whatever you want to call it. Trophy, trophy, trophy. catches. I mean, trip after trip trophy after trips. trip. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Whether it be white sea bass, whatever. lobsters, bluefin, whatever you guys are trophy, trophy hunters. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay. So Rick was saying, it's like, what are some differences? I'm like thinking, oh, maybe species. Yeah. On long range boats. We catch, you know, we catch big tuna. Oh, here they come. They invite <laughs> catches big tuna. Okay, on long range boats, we catch Wahoo. And they catch Wahoo. What, like, <laughs> obviously, that was a couple of years ago, and that was kind of an oddity, but like. As what about as, sword? We haven't even talked about swordfish yet. Yeah, give me a break. Come on. <laughs> yeah. What, what don't. What, yeah, for real. Yeah, because uh, you're going to run swordfish trips in the fall here, too, right? Oh, yeah. And possibly, I mean, possibly even sooner. I mean, they're kind of starting to show a little bit now but obviously the fall is like pretty textbook fall and winter time is textbook sword fishing but um yeah that's coming up slash maybe around the corner because yeah. i mean if these uh it's all about what's around to be trying if these bluefin kind of get unreasonable to go catch we'll put on some sword fishing go go try it because yeah. there is some being caught you know just all up and down the coast so yeah you know when one kind of goes down Let's find the other to fill yeah, its place. There right. you go. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about between sea bass, swordfish, uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, bite sport fishing, a great operation here. And Alec is uh, a wealth of knowledge when it comes to fishing because he's out pretty much every day on it. And that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's going to be a great show. So much cool information with Alec in here. I mean, like you say, covering everything. Everything you you could want to do from skipping to long range and everything in between. This guy's been there and done that. And and having him represent. It's going to be a great show. Lots of great information, and we want to hear from you. If you want to join us this morning on Let's Talk Hookup, give us a call at 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090 is how you reach us here on Let's Talk Hookup. going to be a very busy morning, and we do have an open phone line right now, so take advantage because it, be it will be a very, very full day today. In addition to phone calls, you can also text the show. Hugely popular here on Let's Talk Hookup. If you want to text the show a question, it's only available via the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a totally free download, super easy to get, probably the easiest way to listen to Let's Talk Hookup. Just download it in your App Store, your Google Play Store, on an Apple or an Android device, totally free, no BS, and you're going to get to listen to the show. And also you can fire a text into Alec. And not only are we going to be talking all kinds of great fishing, talking by sport fishing, we are giving away such a killer prize at the end of the show today. Check this out. One lucky caller is going to win one spot on an open party lobster white sea bass combo trip this fall or winter with bite sport fishing how, about how cool that, huh? is that dude yeah how do i call yeah, it yeah no, no yeah. kidding yeah, no. You, you may be fishing with alec you may be fishing with brandon you may be fishing with west you may be fishing with jake it all depends yeah, yeah. really really cool opportunity again if you want to get your shot at that great prize or better yet your chance to talk to captain alec eight uh two one three Four three two ten ninety again two one three four three two ten ninety and we come back we got a lot more let's talk hookup coming your way more of your phone calls more great info you stay tuned you're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice this is Let's Talk Hookup on that Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier ten ninety Dana Landing in Mission Bay is truly the one stop shop for a great day on the water come see our expert fishing staff for just about anything you need for a great day of on the water fun looking for a fishing charter Dana Landing has you covered with the blackjack, perfect for up to four anglers or the impulse with up to six. Dana Landing has a huge selection with everything you need to catch small bay bass or giant tuna. We will be sure to set you up with the right gear. We even offer real repair and Mexican and California fishing licenses. Don't forget the amazing deli at Dana Landing with all of the food, ice, and beverages you need to complete your day. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle with all the finest rods and reels, the hottest.
as fresh water lures and live bait. ECB Tea has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. East County Bait and Tackle is located at the end of the 67 Freeway on Main Street in Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp on San Diego's Mission Bay. Check out DanaLanding.com for more details. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. Hey anglers, AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance staying warm, dry, cool and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. For over 30 years, Sea Falcon has been manufacturing the finest handmade jigs and plugs, utilizing superior components and hand-painted finishes. Sea Falcon lures are made in Japan and are based on hand-carved originals, utilizing the highest level of quality and attention to detail. Gamakatsu's premium assist hooks are ideal to pair with Sea Falcon lures, providing you with one of the highest quality lure combinations on the market. When you're shopping for premium jigs and blocks to chase the fish of a lifetime, look no further than to see the Falcon. Welcome back to Let's Talk. I'm having a great time with Alec in here. Phones are getting packed up. Text coming through really good through again, too. There's already a lineup of cool texts coming through. If you want to text the show, Let's Talk Hook Up app. That's the best way to do it. Absolutely. Hey, next Saturday, one week from the day, it's our San Diego County Ford dealer remote broadcast at North County Ford and Vista. And, of course, that's always great because we have Ken Corwin from Ken's Custom yeah. Reels. And uh, that's kind of his hometown, so we have to have Ken yeah, on. Yeah, totally. Right? Yeah. Representing. And it's going to be your next chance to call. Qualify for the big grand prize, either by random draw or by winning the Shimano casting contest. A trip for one on any available trip to Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska in 2022. That's huge. Absolutely. So cool. And you can also win a trip on the Blackjack. That's that great four six-pack boat out of Dana Landing in Mission Bay. AFCO and Hydras, the ultimate foul weather gear. Shimano rods and reels. Maui Jim sunglasses. There's going to be lots of giveaways, too. All you need to do is just show up. Just check the guest page page at let's talk hookup uh, dot com for rules and details see you uh, one week from today yeah, next saturday today. at north county ford just off highway 78 so easy to find uh at vista way in vista that's a really cool spot yeah. and a great it's a great a, people over there and in a huge dealership too i mean yeah, those guys always massive. blow me away yeah. how many trucks those guys have at, oh, uh, oh oh yeah no they've and even with this uh this uh change in inventory they still have a lot yeah, of stuff totally. to sell for, for sure the san diego county ford dealers no doubt well the phones are packed everybody's excited to talk to alec again if you want to get your shot to get through it's 213-432-1090 we're going to start with Vinny. he's called us from carlsbad this morning what's up Vinny? welcome to let's talk hookup hey good morning guys hey this is kind of a different question here um i know you guys do trips here and there to alaska if i wanted to take my just my wife and i to alaska it's kind of a bucket list trip what would be a good place I could take her? She had a little bit of a mobility issue and just kind of do something kind of off the grid. Um, do you have any recommendations? You, you know, Alaska depends a, a little bit on what you know, the, the type of trip that you want to provide for your wife, I think, would vary a little bit on the destination that you chose to go to. You know, and, and like you say, when when it's when you when you preface it at that, it can mean two things. Hey, my wife loves to fish with me, but maybe wants something slightly more comfortable. Maybe she's hardcore, and that doesn't make a bit of difference. Or maybe that's she wants to do something in addition to the fishing. And and, and I think all of those 
would change your 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 potential Alaska destination a little bit. In, no, in, no in, doubt. In, and, and and so the ultimate. Uh, just if you want to catch fish and, and, and bring boxes of fish home and have an Alaskan experience as Kingfisher Charters just, in Sitka, Alaska. Just no doubt. But it's hardcore fishing. It it's is. T- a 10, 11 hours a day on what could be a flat, calm ocean, and it could be a very rough ocean. Right. So you have to be hardy and uh, have to be a seasoned angler. But for the hardcore fishermen, if, and there's a lot of women that like that kind of sure. stuff. It, it's the lodge is super comfortable. Food's great, um, right. and, and and but but if she's not such a hardcore angler, a couple of other destinations might be Queen Charlotte Safaris, Big which time. we're going uh, this uh, this 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 year, and, and 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 of course you can book for 2022. They're super inland, calm waters, lots of fish, and run by a woman, so you know it's got that uh, Valerie, so it's got that great uh, touch uh, that women would. Appreciate appreciate too and, and she she mentioned that she was very yeah. clear about that yeah. you know we get that all the time you know wives girlfriends you know or just ladies that want to go up together like it's, yeah. it there's there there certainly can be something lost in the translation from a bunch of alaska dudes yeah. putting the lodge together and she, yeah she's got the touch whether it be blow dryers in the bathrooms or whatever it might be you know yeah, she, she, yeah for sure she's got those touches and 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 that again you're getting uh, a lot of fish you're going to bring a lot of fish home you're going to you're going to halibut salmon um, uh, rockfish in the ocean, but it's calm in inland waters and mm-hmm. clo- not, not not long distances. Then there's a whole other extreme is that is Cat My Lodge, right? I just came back from last week, which is another great destination. My wife loves Cat My Lodge. Same. It's a ri- it's river fishing. I brought a 50 pound box of sockeye salmon home, so you do get to bring fish home. Uh, but it's river fishing. It's bears and moose and and eagles and 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 beavers and wildlife and 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 a, an amazing experience in the in the uh, Alaskan tundra of wilderness, which is another probably a thousand miles north of southeast Alaska, which is uh, which is where uh, Queen Charlotte and um, Queen Charlotte's actually in Canada, but it's right next to Southeast yeah. Alaska and Sitka. I, I was talking to a buddy literally yesterday, my buddy Norm, about about uh, uh, about Katmai, and it was literally this question: it was you know, is this a great spot for uh, you know for, for my buddy and his wife to go? And it is a Katmai is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It is so far away from anything. With that said, it is incredibly comfortable yep. for being that far away. Yeah. As far as accommodations for for a lady up there, absolutely no Very problem. Comfortable. Showers, yeah, drivers. Uh, yeah, it's it's great. I mean, it, it, but you know, I said that I kind of prefaced the same thing with him, like. If she wants to see amazing wilderness and great fishing and be very comfortable in the lodge, it's a no doubter. But if you want to do something that's other than that, I mean, that's what there is to do there. Yeah. See wildlife and, and sure. have great fishing and eat good food, but there's not a town, there's not a shop, there's not a right. spot. You know, not saying that that's what she's after, but just kind of get an idea of the, the other things that she wants to do. And if, if fishing is those things, then it'll kind of help guide you which spot yeah. is best. And, and i got to tell you, the food, uh, Bob has taken it up to the next level. This year, the food was insane. <laughs> Yeah, I cat it my, was, oh, my God, I cat my mind. I can't yeah. wait to hear about that. But, this. yeah, so there are a couple of destinations, uh, three destinations there, all, all with different perspectives there. Um, Queen Charlotte Safaris, uh, uh, Kingfisher Charters, and, um, and Cat My Lodge. The calm waters is a big deal that you talked about. Like, oh, wh- yeah. whether how, how important that is on the scale for you or not would, would be a big factor. Yeah. Hope that helps you out. All right, thanks, thanks a lot, guys. All right. Yeah, thank you, guys. Good. Appreciate right. that very much. Well, let's jump back into the phones. We're going to talk to John. John's calling us from Huntington Beach this morning. What's up, John? Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, just enjoying uh, listening about about the tuna fishing and everything. Um, my question is for Alex is the um, when you uh, book a charter with them and say the the fisher may be farther north um, and and you go out of someplace other than San Diego, do, do you guys um, – what what kind of um, can you just describe what kind of like equipment we need to bring? What kind of um, do we? I guess we bring our own food. We bring our own our own tackle, and and uh, if we have the gear, or do you guys prefer we we use your your gear? Great questions. That is, and um, that's okay. So as far as gear goes, if you don't have any gear or you're questionable on your gear, we got your gear because it's. I mean, it's just proven the stuff we use we'll catch because we have to. Um, that being said, some people prefer their rod, you know, and prefer their tackle. And 
every trip is different and it's so personal that you will get advised kind of, you know, you'll get a real time update from most of the time it's Brandon. And then the final leg, it'll be myself, Jake or Wes. And you know, if we have, if we get service before our next trip, we can be like, Oh, this has really been biting, pick up a couple of those, but typically we'll have whatever gear you need to get it done. Um, this kind of bluefin thing is kind of the way it's been recently with these poppers and whatnot has been, uh, actually the epitome, the best of anglers bringing their own stuff. Cause we have an assortment of poppers and lures and stick baits and whatever, but the people that are like, oh, check out this stick bait and this whatever. And I'm like, well, we need to put an 80 yeah, pound well, test. Got licked. <laughs> yeah. We need to put an 80 pound leader on that and then let's try it. And then bam, it's something we didn't think about. So a lot of times that's a, that's a great play. Um, but as, so for, I guess to answer your question, it, you'll get a real time update every time, no matter if it changes from San Diego to up North, but a lot of times we're going for the same fish. So the gear transfers over pretty easily, especially with these tuna, you're just attacking it from a different trajectory from the California bite. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, oh, plug bites, you know, <laughs> yeah, bite, yeah, that's where it comes from, right? Yes. Um, but the, what you should bring is just, I mean, I mean, I'd bring gear to be comfortable in as far as, I mean, gear, I mean, clothes, um, some waterproof kind of stuff. If you got some like lightweight waterproof bibs and a jacket for sure. And basically a backpack full of like comfortable clothes, boots. And beanies, boots, you'd be good. And then food and drink. That's, that's all that I would really expect any angler to ever bring is that sort of proverbial gear. As far as fishing gear goes, you, you guys can, have it covered. We got it covered, but we are not opposed to you bringing your, bringing your gear. Cause all right. we're not opposed to seeing the latest and greatest what people have came up with. And then if we dub that it is not working, we got our gear there to fall back on, which happens sometimes. There you so. go. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. And kind of along, along the same line, uh, here's a great text uh, from uh, Greg in El Cajon. He says, my boss is from Michigan and has never fished the ocean. I'm thinking that if I charter a trip to get him in a bluefin and he might well be uh, on the way to, uh, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, can you help out with that? He said if he got him a bluefin, he thought it'd be a good way for him to get himself a raise. Yeah, Since oh, he's taking a raise. Boss, okay, that's what he's saying. Yeah, he might yeah. be a good way to get a raise. Okay, I got <laughs> exactly. it. Yeah. I got a chuckle out of that one. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Well, sir, I cannot help you with your job status. Right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that hey, you, right now. You, you might be able to. You, you never know. Indirectly, yeah. for sure. <laughs> you say, you know, I think he said, did you say Minnesota? Yes, or, yeah. Michigan, yeah. yeah. Michigan. Yesterday, we took out people from Minnesota. They caught their first blue. You know, they came out, and they they were very understanding. Oh, slow fishing, great, you know. Um, we Is what it is. Tuna fishing going big, and bam, we got one. That's They're right. pumped. So, it is it is definitely a great opportunity to bring newer people out and especially if they don't um if they're not the most seasoned people we're, we're definitely able to make it user friendly there's yeah. obviously some styles and, of fishing that yeah. are a little more and this one on one kind of thing exactly. you know and hey it's great exactly. on you know exactly. long range boats the local boats are great but you're fishing with multiple other people on there and if you want to really get that raise you give them like this in individual experience and put them on a fish. Whereas, you know, if you get, you know, one or two fish on a, on a, on a sport boat, that's not a lot of fish. If you get one or two fish, uh, and they're hundred pounders, uh, bite sport fishing, that's a, that's a pretty decent day, right? No doubt about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And yeah. it's personal too. Like you said, the boss can pick my brain. Hey, what do you think about this? What is like that? You know, I could explain to him the fishing through the whole thing, as opposed to, um, you know, if, potentially going on a bigger boat you're, you're gonna have a very you're gonna have less interaction mm -hmm. with the uh the captain there but with with this you're we're right up in your you're part of the crew yeah you're you're part of the crew it's yeah your, it's your boat for the day just That's, tell yeah. us what you want and you take a maximum of four people right uh, it depends on what kind of trip lobster trip this that or whatever but typically i think it's five people and uh yeah the and the freeman it could definitely hold more, but we only take five, you know, for the Coast five Guard max. deals. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, I mean, heaven forbid, if we do, we could take me and another license or, you know, I could go with Brandon or I can go with Jake or Wes. So we can all go on the Freeman and then put a couple more people on that, if fishing even is worth that. But then you're starting to kind of dabble in the waters of, like, why are we putting so many people on? But if, right. it's, if it's sustainable enough to where we're like, man, we can get seven people quality yeah. fish and they're cool with that 
then yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you could do it. But but that, but that, typically it's anywhere from one, one to five people on. Yep, one to five, four is yeah. probably the average, yeah. like you were saying. Four. Correct. Okay. Great. That's cool. All right. Hey, well, we appreciate the phone call very much. With that, let's find out what's going on on the water now. It's time for our catch report with the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Cast Tours. Today, that fish report sponsored by the fish pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when your trip returned to the San Diego landings, as well as your private boat catch, but now with fish pros, the market, you can purchase fresh fish. They have smoked and jerkied fish, the spices, rubs, smoked cheese, their famous tuna burger, and that amazing poke kit. They're now open at their new location in Old Town on Taylor Street. Call for details or order online at fishermansprocessing.com. If you've got a 200-pounder, there is no, no doubt. Absolutely. So the move to make, slide that thing over to Sean and Raymond. Let those guys yeah. give it the true process you know, procedure, it's just the only way oh, to fly, yeah. for sure. So going back to your, your on that note, going back to the Minnesota boss question, you know, question, yeah. deal, they're out of town. They're looking at me like we're in a hotel. What do we do um, now? What do we do with this beautiful 60 pound bluefin? Do we have to like take it with us? Do you get a fillet or put in a cooler, go to the ice machine, be that guy yeah. emptying yeah. it out. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, just leave it with me. I'll wake up in the morning before, you know, they come here on the show, drop it off with Sean. Be in good hands, gill and gutted, slid it right into the little ice tote. Oh, that's so it's cool. going to be ready, you know, before they take off today. And, you know. And Sean will ship it right to them if they want it. He can ship it. And yeah. he, they know how, they know what the flights want. They know what the package, you know, they yeah. know, they're exactly. familiar yeah. with all that. They can prep it to be, they can prep it to go on as checked luggage on a plane, or they can prep it to just ship right to the door, yeah. whatever you want. There's nothing like it. Yeah. Yeah. So the expertise is worth is every there. penny. Yeah. 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 No doubt about that. Well, let's find out what's going on. We got the cast man standing by. Buenos dias, cast man. Hey, buenos dias, Ricky. Up, yes, man. up here, uh, hey, we're fishing, man. We're fishing just outside the Jaws here in Florence, Oregon, and uh, trying to get some of those salmon uh, that they were bringing in last week. I mean, big-time numbers. And uh, we also got six crab pots out there soaking, so hopefully we'll have some dungies. dungies the Jaws? Tonight, What's but... the Jaws? It sounds dangerous. Ooh. Well, that's it is. You've got to go through the Jaws to get out to the ocean. and. Uh, <laughs> It, it was it, it was open today. It was very calm coming through, so no problem. Nice. But we're going to give it a little bit longer. But, uh, hey, I talked. Oh, first thing, good news, Pete. I'm happy to announce we have sold out the Loretto Rumble next May oh 1 to 5. Oh, my wow. Already? <laughs> Already? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, 25 rooms and 25 boats. So Holy It's going to be a hoot. Nice job, Cass. 50 Cass. people. Oh, cool. Wow, that's amazing. So that's next May, and it's already sold out. That's great. Congrats. Yeah. It's such a yeah. great time. It just shows what a great operation and, and destination and everything else yeah. is there. That's awesome. Way to go, Cass. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, I talked with Danny Talamantes yesterday from Loretto. He's our... He's our guy that gets all our boats for the charter master down there. And uh, he says uh, a good Dorado bite uh, there from uh, Coronado Island up to San Bruno. Uh, a lot of fish. You know, most of the fish are between uh, 8 to 15 pounds. Occasional bull being being picked up. And then uh, the yellowtail are up by uh, Punta uh, by Pulpito. And uh, getting a good yellowtail bite for, you know, middle of the summer there. So they're doing real well there. And, of course, along the beaches there, they're getting some rooster fish. Uh, as far as rooster fish go, from Morello all the way down to San Jose del Cabo, good rooster fish bite, good quality roosters. I've seen some pictures of some 50, 60-pound roosters, occasional 70. And uh, thank God they're releasing all those all those fish. Uh, as far as the tuna bite goes there, the usual spots there out of Punta, uh, out of Punta Gordo there north to... The Iman Bank, San Luis Bank, the Dinorama, there are uh, tuna there. Not not wide open yet, but they are uh, getting some nice tuna. Most of the tuna, 15 to 25, occasional 40, 50 pounder, and I heard they had an 80 or 90 pounder. Most of the fish on um, on uh, dead sardinas are cut squid. But uh, also plenty of striped marlin around. It's uh, been a banner season for striped marlin, all the way from Loreto to La Paz and to East, uh, San Jose del Cabo, East Cape, of course and Cabo San Lucas. But anyway, that's the report for this week. Still got two spots open for our Columbia Peacock Bass Trip, um, February 10 to uh, 19. Uh, anybody wants to join us, they can get a call on that one. But anyway, uh, that's the report for this week. And if anybody wants to get involved in some of this good action down in Southern Baja, mainland Mexico, Central America, give us a call at Cast Tours. 800-593-6510 or on the web at www.casttours.com and I'll talk to you boys next week.
Cass, I had to get a confirmation on that. Did you say that stretch between East Cape and San Jose del Cabo? Were you talking about 70-pound roosters? True. <laughs> That's unreal. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, there, uh, there's some big boys out there. Uh, you know, and like I said, I've seen some great pictures of guys holding them. Of course, they are releasing them, thank God. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Very cool. Well, Cashman, great job, great report. Appreciate everything you do for us. And uh, if somebody wants to book a trip, we'll look forward to talking to you next week. All, All right, right, man. You guys take care. Thanks, Cashman. Cass, hey, good luck on the jaws out there. Don't be careful <laughs> of those jaws. Catch a bunch of fish. All right. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right. Phones are packed. Uh, they want to talk to Alec. Talk bite fort fishing. Let's go ahead and jump back into it. You got it. How about Armin from San Diego up next on the Let's Talk Hookup? Good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, first, I have to thank Pete for being out of town last weekend. Uh, I was out on the Pacific and we got him. I came in with yeah, a nice. little bit of Yelp Hill as well as a bluefin and a yellowfin. So thank you. Nice. Oh, nice day. Was, bro. Well, well, that's good. Uh, hey, anytime yeah. you want to send me to Cat My Lodge, I'll go. Right. Okay. All right. Sign you up. <laughs> yeah, sign Thanks me deal. up. But uh, I'm glad you caught him, and I'm glad uh, being out of town aided in uh, the good fishing for sure. All right. So my question um, – I don't have friends at the charter of the boat, so I'm looking at some of those uh, limited loads that you guys have out of Fisherman's Landing. How does it work if you're flying the kayak? Who gets to like go up first on the kayak to reel it in if you get one, or if it's like late in the day, do you guys kind of switch off? I just kind of hope that you might tell me a little bit more about that process. Well, that's a – I mean, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head there. So it's uh, – once you get there, we kind of draw straws and kind of pick an order. Um but also there's some groups that are just willing to, like, it's kind of tag. Like, if it's getting late in the day and, bam, we get a hookup on a nicer one, just kind of tag team it and divvy up the meat. So it kind of works out every which way. But it's kind of like you got to cross that bridge when you get to it. But the default is kind of figuring out, like, an order, like, who goes first and second. And th- you know, just drawing names out of a hat It's kind of the, the way it works for the for the bigger fish on the methods that are, like, like a singular a singular per, one person working yeah. so at if you're if, so if you're doing like an open party trip and right. four guys don't know each other right. that that would be kind of draw straw things exactly yeah. and sometimes we could do the balloon and the kite and you know yeah. kind of go through a rotation quicker but definitely make it fair all around yeah and it's a, you know a lot of times with these charters it's so even though they don't know each other it's such a personal deal that they kind of end up like get on the same page like, oh, let's just get you know yeah get it pull on it man i'm tired Get, get it, let's get this thing on the boat, divide the meat up, yada, yada. So, it, uh, yeah, that's so, how it works. So if somebody wants to get on an open party trip, do you actually have open party trips on the website where there's days set aside where you can sign up on the website or call Brandon? For sure. Um, Fisherman's Landing has a lot. Okay, of, Fisherman's Landing. So has the they have a lot of open parties. But, the, you know, Brandon has uh, – he, he puts them on his website, but he also – for those of you uh, social media – people out there you dm him or direct message him on instagram he responds to that very well and he'll kind of sign you up and you know that sort of deal the key is to inquire and uh, inquire inquire about a date and like it goes from there it kind of builds it snowballs from one person to four you know what i mean but once once we get a spark if we have an availability it, it often time rolls into it but um yeah there are definitely ways to check out the other open party okay. structures. That's, that's cool. I know that's been one of the things we've been so excited about at the landing is that now with so many boats and so many options, you know, there there are just more spaces available now than there used to be. Yeah. You know, and the, back in the day, it's like good luck getting good luck getting to go fishing with Alec, you know, the boats chartered all the time, but now yeah. with, you know, with with all the boats and all the great captains, it seems like there's more. You know, I mean, obviously they're you know they're su- still super popular, so they're chartered a lot. But it seems like there's a lot more open party opportunities. I see them on the web because I always jump on the Fisherman's Landing website just to look at the catch reports at the end of the day. Sure, and I'll, I'll see all the time. Hey, there's one. You know, there's a spot. There's two spots on the 28 on on this day, right. or there's one spot on you know whatever boat this time on that kind of thing. So yeah. if, if you're into going, there's spots available to go to make it happen. There you go. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including a lot more of your phone calls and text messages. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. Henry David Thoreau said, Many men go fishing all their lives without knowing that it's not the fish they are after. Let me tell you, it's been one wild year, but one thing that still rings true is how nice it is to get out on the water. And at Fast Lane Kayaking, we have the tools to do it. Catch fish and social distancing on the super stable and fully loaded fishing machine, the Hobie Pro Angler. Now available with the Mirage Drive 360. 
or explore our beautiful coastline, bays, and lakes in comfort on a Hobie compass or passport. Or load up the car and hit the road with the inflatable Hobie I-11S and kayak the stunning lakes in eastern Sierra or wherever you can dream up. The Fast Lane team cannot begin to tell you how much we appreciate your business over the last 41 years. We are family-owned and operated and always have been. And we're here to help you get on the water and spread the stoke. Check out our website at FastLaneKayaking.com or stop by the shop in Dana Landing Marina right on the water in Mission Bay. Let's get out and make some memories. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests don't know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of the beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-2255. Two eight hundred six four six Baja and RanchoLeonero.com. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. This is Captain Art Taylor of Searcher Sport Fishing. Celia and I would like to thank all of our great customers for helping celebrate Searcher's 50th anniversary. Our 2021 schedule is available now with more limited load trips. The Searcher has a great crew, fantastic food, a family atmosphere to make your fishing adventure complete. Book your trip online at searchersportfishing.com. That's searchersportfishing.com. Or call Celia at 619-226-2403. Have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Cook-Up. Hey, we're having a great time here this morning talking fishing, talking bites, sport fishing. It's a great show. Yeah, that is for sure. And uh, we have our good buddy Arnie Seiko online. Good morning, Arnie. Good morning, Pete. Ricky, how you guys doing today? What's up, Arnie? Great. Good morning. Arnie, good morning. Uh, I know you just came back from our Let's Talk Cook-Up four-day on the Royal Star. How was it? Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, you couldn't have asked for better weather conditions on the water out there, Pete. We had four days of really nice, flat, calm water. We had overcast, which was kind of nicer for the anglers. Um, tell you what, we uh, spent the first few days going south in uh, Mexico. Where we caught some uh, nice yellowtail. We uh, were basically catching them on kelps and uh, this meter spots. And uh, we caught some, we had some uh, spots, we caught some smaller ones, and we just uh, let those go. And uh, I tell you, we had some interesting anglers on this trip. We had Gary Bigfish, Sato, and his son, Cody. Nice. And uh, they did well on the trip. We had a couple other uh, father and son teams. We had Joe Baxter and his son, Shane. Interesting thing about Joe, Joe used to be a deckhand on the Royal Star back in the mid 90s. And we had um, Mike and Bryce Haynes from Green Valley, Arizona, on our trip. And uh, we had some interesting things out there. We were trolling. Uh, We had a four-way troll stop on Halco's out there on Yellowfin, which is really pretty cool. Sweet. And um, as far as the bluefin, well, they they definitely kind of humbled us a bit. Uh, We did land some nice fish when they let their guard down. Cody Sato, I think, took the new title of Big Fish Sato. He got the 140-pounder to won the jackpot on the trip. Nice. He caught it on a knife digging in the dark. Um, also, Gary himself landed a couple nice bluefin on this trip. Shane Baxter, Joe's son, landed his first bluefin as well on this trip. And uh, we worked our way back across the line in the U.S. waters on our last day. And I tell you what, uh, Tim uh, Tim Ekstrom said it on the Royal Star website. I got to agree. It was like Nat Geo, Discovery Channel stuff we were seeing. We were seeing these colors and giant polar schools, and they were just all over the place. But, darn it, 
you know, to, he tried to go get some fish off these things, and he just didn't want to bite anything with a hook. Yeah, wow. Well, you know, that's, that's a fluke in fishing. Oh, and yeah. And I'll tell you what, the anglers, everybody took it all in the stride, and it was a great group of guys to fish with. I thank them very much for making it very easy for me to be a charter master on this trip. And thanks go out to the Royal Star crew. Uh, they're, they're just the best. They're outstanding. And uh, Cameron and Alex kept us sped well. And it was a great trip. And Royal Star, if you guys never fished the Royal Star, look them up. Fish on this boat. As a matter of fact, they're sold out the rest of the year. I think now, I, they had an opening now. on. They had a last minute opening on a trip in the fall uh, in September. So you might want to call Tracy. Uh, um, there, there's been some last minute cancellations. So they're sold out, but the cancellations happen. So sure. I might, I might uh, say that yeah, they they they're very popular. But uh, don't hesitate to give a call or shoot her an email and say, hey, if anything pops up in this time period, I want to go, kind of thing. Uh, absolutely, Pete. Yeah. And thanks for letting me host this trip. And the the passengers definitely appreciated about all the, the raffle prizes we brought on board for them. Oh yeah, no, we had some great raffle prizes from Afco and uh, Cutwater, and boy, Gamakatsu supplied hooks for everybody. So want to thank uh, Ted and the gang up at Gamakatsu for doing all that and lots of goodies. Everybody got something, right? Oh, absolutely, Pete. All right. Well, Arnie, nice job, Arnie. Great job. Appreciate that. Glad it was such a fun trip. And oh, uh, it's always fun on the Royal Star. Such a great operation. No doubt. All right. Thanks. Appreciate that, Arnie. Thanks for the call this morning. Hey, well, we had a fun text come through. This one was from Ryan in Irvine. And he says, uh, I got to know a uh, question for Captain Alec. If you're stranded on an island and can only bring, bring one rod reveal the lure for survival, what's it going to be? What kind of island? Well, let's, yeah, let's what kind of island? Yeah, and what are you going to fish go, for? Let's right? go tropical. Tropical. Well, you're stuck on you're stuck on Clipperton, and you got one rod and reel and a lure to make it happen. What's it going to be? I would like ninety J. Like and just any giant popper, you know, like mm-hmm. eight inches with a, the biggest leader you can. I mean, down there you got or any of these tropical places you got those. Uh, all sorts of trevally and stuff, and I mean, we fish for them on the the, the longer trips when we're just kind of messing around and whatnot. And it's so rad, and you want that popper if you're stranded because you need to be floating on top of the reef. You don't want that. You don't want oh, good to call. Good call. Experience right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. they want to get stuck, plan. right? Yes, exactly. And you 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 can't. You gotta you gotta put the screws to whatever you're trying to catch there for survival. So you gotta. You gotta really reef with your with your with your ninety J. Real, I guess well shoot, the old school the old gold Trinidad forties, love those. Yeah. But you know, the any Trinidad would be freaking rad and just locking it down. So as far as tropical, okay. that'd be my deal. I okay. like it. Change gears to Alaska, it's a different story, but yeah. that's my tropical okay. answer. Okay. I, like go. right. well. I hope one. that helps. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I, f- I forgot to mention to Arnie, Arnie will be joining us, of course. He'll be one of our helpers, uh, kind of man in the fort on the uh, Shimano casting contest next Saturday at North County Ford. So uh, I'll look forward to that. You can talk Royal Star and uh, fishing with Arnie next Saturday at North County Ford at our live remote. So as he mans the Shimano casting contest to uh, hopefully qualify will actually qualify another person for the Kingfisher Charters trip in 2022. Totally free, no money, no cost. If you get either a random draw that day or if you're the winner of the casting contest, you might be going to Alaska. Yeah. That's and, just so to cool. Kingfisher to Kingfisher Charters. Yeah, in 2022. 2022. Yeah. Any, any trip with availability, too, yeah, right? right. Uh, exactly. So cool. yeah. Hey, well, the phones are packed. Everybody's excited to talk to Alec. Let's jump back into them and talk to Roger. Roger's calling us from Fullerton this morning. Good morning, Roger. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. It's a great show, all as usual. Uh, I've always thought Brandon Hayward was quite the guy, and I'd like to know what Alex, uh, what's his history with Brandon, and what do you think about working for that kind of guy? That kind of that guy. That kind of guy. That kind of guy. My, history with him, <laughs> my history goes back to when I was, I was like 15. I was... I was before I could drive, is what I remember. Wow. <laughs> it, was, it was just kind of a funny story because my dad, he's a real estate agent in San Clemente, and he obviously knew I loved to fish and whatever. And it was back before cell phones and whatever. So you'd get on the desk there. It was the rudimentary, uh, the rudimentary caller ID. 
And it popped up. It said Brandon Hayward, W O N, you know, Western Outdoor News. And my dad's like, "Is this Brandon Hayward from Western Outdoor News?" And Brandon's like, "Yeah, yeah, like you know, just I'm looking for a house, sure, you know what I mean." So he just kind of took him off guard there, and he just, you know, he just kind of messed with him right off the bat. But um, wow, so, so yeah, that's cool. They ended up finding him a house. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah, but um, he introduced me. He's like, "My son loves to fish," and we met and had lunch one time there, and. and uh, yeah, it kind of hit it off, and from then on, it was just kind of keeping in contact. I do go fishing with him on rent a couple of outdoor news charters, or watch his dog at times. And, <laughs> you know, random stuff like that. I mean, he, that was before he let he let me into the Sea Bass Club. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we we go fishing on the. He took me fishing, and we went on the Dreamer a couple of times. But it was, it was quite a few years after that that I mean, he may, at that time he may have still been trying to figure out the the whole Sea Bass thing in '09, but. Um, uh, eventually, yeah, he, uh, knew I wanted to work on a boat. He's like, dude, come help me out. I need some, you know, these things are crazy. Actually, I was, I was pushing for it. I'm like, I want to catch a sea bass. Yeah. yeah. Like, Let's go. And uh, I'll polish your, the, the handrails on the, on the <laughs> and I did and people, anyway. Um, so then after that just was a deckhand and basically was able to help him get some sleep to be able to run these crazy nighttime sea bass charters for, um, days weeks on end and that we just kind of kept evolving from there i don't want to bore you with cool. the complete life story. and when did you get your uh, captain's license i got my captain's license when i was 22 wow um so i'm 28 now that's uh six oh, okay only six, six years ago no. and then you and then you worked on the red rooster for a while of course you ran player supreme for a while yes exactly and yeah. uh i mean the moment i got my license brand was like Here's your trip. You know what I mean? So that was that was really yeah, cool. Like that's very cool. The rooster and the bigger boats, you got to kind of cut your teeth. There's a lot more systems to learn. And, uh, you know, running a big boat and a little boat, it's the same principle, but it's just you got to know what's going on with your boat. You got to yeah. know the, you know, all that stuff. But the, um, as far as uh, Brandon's deal, he gave me an opportunity right away and, uh, you know, head first in the water. That's and right. it was good. And so... But as far as working for that kind of guy, it's really cool. And it gives you the opportunity to go fishing for trophy fish in unique ways that I was just not used to on a big boat, mainly quieter. And that quietness and, you know, speed really just has, it, has, huh? has its strong points at times. Yeah. Well sure. said. That's awesome. All right. Thanks for the call. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot You're more. Welcome. Let's talk. coming your way. Another full hour. We're also going to check in with the catch reports, find out what's biting up and down the beach, and a whole lot more. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mighty Year 1090. Sea Keeper, the leader in marine stabilization, has launched its newest, smallest, and most radically different model, the Sea Keeper One. Now, for the first time, stabilization is available for boats as small as 23. Feet. The Sea Keeper One is designed to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on vessels 23 to 30 feet. With a fresh new look, the Sea Keeper One has a compact flush mount installation and runs on 12 volt battery power. Installation is a breeze. It can fit under almost any sea. Now your skiff can enjoy the comfort and enjoyment that only a Sea Keeper equipped boat can provide. Check out the Sea Keeper demo boat at upcoming shows and arrange a free test drive. Sea Keeper has changed the lives of many Southern California anglers including Pete Gray, and will allow you to stay on the fishing grounds when others need to head back to port. Visit seakeeper.com slash take a ride to arrange a demo. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your trailer boat. Seakeeper, once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Capresti of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shogun have the edge there too, delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shogun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at royalpolarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. 
There are so many lodges. How do you make your choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They uh-huh. offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check at kingfishercharters.com. This is the wheel Southern California saltwater anglers have been waiting for. The new Shimano Motorium 40 HG. From casting wahoo bombs while long-range fishing, fishing local tuna or rockfish, the new Shimano Motorium 40 HG should be part of your arsenal. With more capacity, more power, and an amazing 31 pounds of drag with Shimano's carbon drag system, nothing rivals this addition to the Torium lineup. Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters says Shimano engineered Torium for the way we fish on the West Coast with casting gear on conventional tackle. Torium's power and fishability are rooted in its body. A rigid all-metal Hagane body encases Torium, delivering both stiffness and impact resistance. Angler's actions are transformed directly into cranking power. Torium's S-compact body design makes it easier for anglers to control hooked fish in critical situations. The new Shimano Torium 40 HD is now available at your local Shimano dealer. Grab yours today. San Diego, do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with a trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. 